With us now is Robert Deacon, and he is with Van Gogh Cleaning and Restoration. Welcome to the show, Robert. Thank you, Donna. Now, today we're going to be talking about mold, uh, the dangers and what we can do to protect ourselves, or actually what you can do to help us live a little bit longer and not deal with mold. What is mold? Well, mold being a uh, living organism uh, just waits for the opportunity to start to grow. Um, so it's everywhere. Every time we uh, go in our house or outside of our house, we're always going to have mold with us. So being a living organism and waiting for the opportunity to start to grow, it needs three things. It needs the food source, it needs the water, and then it needs the darkness as well. So when there's a um, intrusion of water into our homes, that's when you'll start to get molds to start to grow. So uh, with it being um, with smells that you get that dampness, that dank smell, then you can really start to say, hey, you know what, maybe I do have a situation going on in the house. So. And sometimes dank smells, you know, if you're like up in a cabin or you're somewhere like that, you smell that moldy smell. And sometimes you don't know if it's like a rodent smell. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, do you think rodents and, and mold smell a little bit similar? They do to me. Maybe not the trained nose. Right. But you kind of don't know until you know. Yeah, once you, you know, that's the whole thing. You want to be able to uh, use your senses to help identify what's going on. So, yeah, typically you'll have some type of smell. Um, once you get that odor, you're going to want to do some type of investigation to find out, hey, what is going on in here? Right. Yeah, you know? who left the milk underneath the car seat, yeah. right? Like, what, what is that smell? Right. Yeah, but, that, you know, with molds, you're going to have, it's more of a distinct, it's more of a damp, it's a dank type of smell. Okay. You know? So once you discover all of a sudden that black little smoky looking stuff starting to intrude, mm -hmm. um, they call you, and then what's the next step? You if it's small, can you just bleach it out yourself yeah, or should you, you know, always call an expert? Well, that's it. The Board of Health says that um, the homeowner can actually do a lot of this work on their own, you know. But once it becomes a little bigger in scope, then you might want to look for a trained professional to come in and help out. Okay. So. H ever be in a situation where you have to put on the whole hazmat suit for Oh, mold? sure. Okay. Yeah. And what made you decide to do this, this type of work? Um, it's been a, uh, a labor of love for me. You know, we've been in the cleaning, maintenance, and restoration field for close to 30 years. We've really started out as a, say, a wet carpet service that then developed into more of uh, water damage and structural drying. And then the industry evolved into mold remediation because there were improper drying techniques that were taking place. So mold became more prevalent. But more right now because of, you know, storms like Katrina and uh, Hurricane Sandy, there are more people that are going to experience indoor air quality issues. And they're going to need someone that's going to be able to point them in the right direction as to how uh, to handle that for them. And I said at, at the top of the segment about uh, mold being life-threatening, and it is, and people don't realize that because mold can actually grow inside of a human. Yeah, sometimes um, it'll affect you know, somebody in the house and uh, it might not affect the rest of the home, you know? So that's the tough part about it. You know, some people are more susceptible to it. Um, it's your younger, uh, your young kids with, um, you know, that are uh, uh, still developing as far as their lungs and whatnot. It's uh, immune uh, suppressed uh, people that are just coming out of hospitals or recent surgeries, you know, the Board of Health will say that, you know, those people really shouldn't be around or exposed to. And everybody knows they always warn about not eating lead paint and things like that, but not a lot of families are educating their, you know, about mold, you know, not to touch it or if you see it or if something smells to let an adult know. Right. And uh, I think that's one service that I think your company has been offering in terms of education mm -hmm. because your website delivers some of those tips. Right. So I think it's really important and it's valuable what you do. How long does it take to, to do a whole cleanup process? Like, at what point do you know the house should be condemned? And at what point do you know, hey, it's okay, you can sleep at night? Well, again, according to the Board of Health, they have what they uh, will classify it as certain categories, okay? So you'll have category one through category four. Obviously, category one is something that maybe Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner can do on their own. You know, they can do a little bit of research, Google, and uh, come up with a standard or a protocol as to how to tackle that particular job. But as the scope of work becomes bigger, the categories change, then you're going to definitely need to have somebody be able to come in and help you with those projects. Um, 
yeah, the bigger the projects, the more you want somebody that's a little bit more specialized in that arena because you don't want to cross contaminate the rest of your home. A lot of the projects that we go on actually will have homeowners that have cross contaminated their homes or even other remediators that just didn't have, you know, the schooling and the knowledge will actually cross contaminate a home as well. Interesting information. Thank yeah. you very much. And I know all the work that you're doing with the families here in Long Island. Uh, so thank you on behalf of them. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Robert. You're welcome. Um, for these important tips and more, you can go to liveituptvshow.com. And if you think that you might have a mold problem, I'd consider calling Robert. He seems to know exactly what you need to know. Thanks again. Gosh, thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks again. I bet you're seeing a lot of craziness going mm -hmm. on, right? Oh. Well, you know what? We were doing a lot more. Okay.